Hi, I'm Brian. Kettle's on. Make yourself a cup of tea. Now today I want to talk about Lord of the Rings, or more specifically, a tweet from theonering.net on Twitter, which seems to be calling out fans, and I'm not sure what started it. So I'm just going to read part of this article in Bounding Into Comics, just to put it into some form of cohesive narrative, really, rather than reading the tweets. So, it says... Lord of the Rings fan site describes J.R.R. Tolkien as woke. Lord of the Rings fan site The One Ring recently described Lord of the Rings writer J.R.R. Tolkien as woke in a recent Twitter thread. The website appears to have some kind of connection to Amazon Studios' current Lord of the Rings TV series production, given that they were the first to receive and publish official synopsis of the show back in January. Regardless, they took to Twitter where they began a thread condemning homophobic comments. They wrote, listen. We've been dealing with homophobic comments for decades, and it's still wrong. Whatever toxic arguments are being said now about Lord of the Rings fandom and adaptions is the same trash that said Ian McKellen was the worst affront to Tolkien's legacy ever. Hashtag pride, because of course, it's Pride Month. They followed that up writing, Conjunct respectful debate on Tolkien is always welcome, but homophobic, racist, misogynic trash is always the case for banning. It is not what Tolkien fandom is, once, or welcome. We used to be able to ban in the era of message boards and IRC, but in the era of social media, the platforms can't keep toxicity out of our community. We can mute and block, but that's only for a discount feed. Twitter is not a community simply because it lacks anti-troll tools. Nasty people still show up in replies because they're toxic friends of tweeters. The Twitter account then argued that Tolkien was woke. They tweeted, If you still think Ian McKellen is the worst and that Catholic Tolkien would never have approved, I beg you to read more of Tolkien's books and letters. He was woke, stood against hate, embraced all cultures in life and fiction. This is why his books are translated into every language. They continued the thread, If you think Ian McKellen gets a pass, but whatever Amazon is doing is a disgrace to Tolkien, please think more on your personal bias before tweeting. Our block button is very active, and if you retweet and enable toxic voices in the name of free speech, you do not love Tolkien. They finally concluded the thread writing, Hashtag Pride, gives us some of the great performances beyond all expectations. It's unclear what the One Ring is specifically taking issue with, other than it has something to do with Ian McKellen and the Amazon production and alleged comments made about them. As you can see above, they don't actually provide any evidence for these comments, which they don't. I mean, I remember Lord of the Rings coming out at the time, and I don't remember anyone having an issue with Ian McKellen playing Gandalf, and his performance as Gandalf was fantastic and is loved by all who've seen the films as far as I know. So I'm not exactly sure what they are on about here. Ian McKellen is a fantastic actor and nobody cared about his sexuality. He was an actor doing a job, which is acting, it's what he does. And the performance he gave of Gandalf was fantastic, it was superb, brilliant in the role. So I don't exactly know what sparked this tweet off. The tweet itself doesn't seem to say but it's going to read a bit more of the article here. And as for Tolkien being woke, one has to wonder what kind of definition of woke the One Ring is using, because Tolkien is probably the furthest from woke as you can guess, being a devout Catholic. To allude to this point, Bishop Robert Barron of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, I may have pronounced that wrong, I do apologise if I have, describes wokeism as an intellectual virus. While asking if this ideology is the answer to injustice, he provides an excellent definition of what wokeism actually is. He questions, but this Fulcarian woke philosophy, which holds to an antagonistic social theory, which deconstructs language, which denies the objectivity of moral norms, and which sees reality simply as an incessant struggle between oppressor and oppressed. The answer, the Bishop Baron then makes clear that this ideology is not the answer, and that he actually encourages fighting against it. He explains, of course not, and perhaps we should be encouraged by the French alarm at the emergence of wokeism in their midst. For now, the very society that produced intellectual virus might join the fight against it. Tolkien would not deny the objectivity of moral norms being a devout Catholic. So this, to me, just looks like an unprovoked attack on fans of Tolkien, whether you're just fans of The Lord of the Rings films, the Hobbit films, the Lord of the Rings books, the other books Tolkien's wrote. Like I've said, I'm not sure what's happened to spark this tweet off, but it doesn't seem to have gone down well. There's not many people who the coins have looked through. There's not many people have backed them up. Everyone seems to agree that not many people had a problem with Ian McKellen. Yes, there's always 
some people that do, but you get that in every walk of life. There's always going to be people that have issues with something someone does, and those people are called idiots. But I just want to go to the bottom of this article quickly, and I just say the last sentence here. One has to wonder what in the world the folks over at the One Ring are doing, because it looks like they are actively trying to study J.R.R. Tolkien. And it does. I mean, the saying Tolkien is something which he wasn't. And they're trying to twist what Tolkien was into what they want him to be. Unfortunately, that's not how history works. You can't just decide what you want from history and believe it. There's an old saying, history is written by the victors. But Tolkien was one man, his work is beloved worldwide. He hasn't wrote his history. He wasn't He wasn't the victor of it. He was someone that wrote novels, epic, fantastic novels, based in this wonderful world which he created. But then to have people coming along now and trying to say he was this, as Ida put it, he was woke, when that's not what he was. It just seems bizarre. But you do have to wonder if this is anything to do with the Amazon show which got produced, which season one has a staring, eye-watering amount of money poured into it. It's over $400 million for the first season. Amazon does not want this to fail. It's got to have it succeed and there's a petition at the moment of unchanged.org calling for amazon to keep nudity out of the lord of the rings series and the petition reads amazon prime has an upcoming lord of the rings series set before the trilogy they have hired intimacy coaches and have asked actors to be comfortable with doing nude scenes in the castings tolkien's work is truly wholesome and packed with incredible christian symbolism it was a devout catholic and his memory does not need to be stained with gratuitous nudity, or even nudity in the slightest, it continues. It concludes, Tolkien's creations have always been mostly family friended Keep it that way. And it's true, I mean, Lord of the Rings doesn't need sex and nudity in it. The films didn't have it, and the films are beloved worldwide. They made a load of money at the box office, and Return of the King went on to win all 11 Oscars it was nominated for. So it brings me back to the point of the article, the Twitter feed. I'm not sure what caused it. I'm not sure why they've done it. There doesn't seem to be a response to anything. They've just put this statement up claiming they're dealing with homophobic comments. And you've got the usual words which get thrown about. Homophobic, racist, misogynistic. So I don't know if this is a way to start blaming fans now. If the show isn't as popular or as well received as Amazon is like. But it just seems like an attack on fans of Tolkien and Lord of the Rings which if it is it's been uncalled for and I can't really see an inciting argument of why it started so it just starts with this tweet here which comes out of the blue because everybody loved Ian McKellen playing Gandalf that you'll always get a few people that have issues with no matter what you do I've already said that but I don't know to me it just feels weird that they've come out with a statement so what do you guys think do you think this tweet feed was necessary do you think it's achieved anything or do you think it's simply aimed at attacking fans do let me know in the comments below and that's all for me i want to make a fresh cup of tea